Not sure how wide of a walk gate you need for your project? Let's take a look at some gate width examples to help you decide which will work best. Hey everyone, Jason from Iron Fence Shop. Whether you're considering our Stronghold Iron or Infinity Aluminum walk gates, chances are you may have some questions on what width gates will work best for your project. So today I want to go over some things to ask yourself and show real world examples of how these gates will translate to items you may be taking through them. Before we jump into that though, let's go over what I mean by a walk gate. These are typically going to be smaller gates that are for people and smaller yard equipment to pass through. While some of the larger ones can be used for driveway gates, these are typically going to be gates within your fence line that allow access to your yard. You may also hear them referred to as yard gates, pedestrian gates, or man gates. These are going to be gates ranging from 4 foot wide up to 12 foot wide in various heights and styles. Before choosing the width of gate you need, there are three questions you'll want to ask yourself. The first is what is the widest thing you'll need to pass through the gate? Now this can vary widely. If the only thing you'll be passing through the gate is small yard equipment, people, and pets, then a 4 foot wide gate might be all you need. However, if you have lawn equipment such as larger mowers and tractors that will pass through the gate, you'll want to measure those to make sure they'll fit through the opening. Also, keep service providers in mind that may need to access your yard. If you have landscapers that cut your grass, you'll want to find out what width mowers they use. The commercial grade zero turn mowers used by most landscapers are much wider than the typical riding mower a homeowner might purchase. Consider other service provider access items like mulch deliveries, pool maintenance, tree service or removal, and firewood deliveries too. Those often use larger vehicles or you may need a wider 10 foot or 12 foot double gate for access. The second item to consider is how many gates your project requires. When your yard is wide open, you can wander in anywhere. When planning your fencing gates, think about where you'll be accessing the yard through the fence line. Let's say you're installing a fence on the right hand and left hand side of your house. You may think you only need a gate on one side of the house. However, I can guarantee that the third time you walk to the side of the house without a gate and have to go all the way around, you're going to wish you put that second gate in. Same thing to consider if you access the very back of your yard. If you empty yard clippings at the back of the property or kids have soccer balls that keep sailing over the fence, having a gate in that back fence line will be much more convenient. Without that back gate, you'll have to walk up to the house and then walk down the entire outside of the fence line to get to the very back of your property each time. The third item to consider is the gate access points in your fence line. This actually refers to two different ways to consider access points. The first is the easier one and that's just planning where the gates will be most convenient in your fence line. Consider all the areas of your yard where you need access and have foot traffic coming through. Consider things like walkways and landscaping on both sides of the desired gate as well. The second access point item comes more into play for taking larger lawn tractors and vehicles through the gates. For this, consider obstructions on each side of the gate and what angle you'll be able to approach the gate. Let's grab a few props here to illustrate what I mean. Let's use these to represent our fence line and this opening is where our gate is. When planning for gate width, consider the width and length of the equipment and how you'll be approaching the gate at the access point. Let's say our vehicle here is 8 foot wide and our opening is 10 foot wide. If your access point for the gate allows you to go straight through on both sides, then a tighter setup like this is no problem. However, if landscaping or gate placement means that lawn equipment or vehicles have to pass through at an angle like this, now our tight gate opening may not work, especially with longer items like vehicles and trailers. Don't only consider the width of the equipment and the gate opening. Keep the access point around the gate and how you approach it on both sides in mind too. In our scenario here, we would need to widen that gate to something a little bit wider so our car can pass through more easily. Being able to drive through your gate head on may allow for a tighter gate opening, but if you have to come at that gate at an angle, go for a gate with one or two sizes larger. Especially it's for something like backing a trailer through that may not cooperate at an angle the same way as riding a big lawn tractor through will. Now, let's take a look at the typical gate widths we offer in some photos. We'll start with our single or one-piece gates in 4-foot, 5-foot, and 6-foot widths, and then move up to the double or two-piece gates in 8-foot, 10-foot, and 12-foot widths. We'll start with our narrowest and most popular gate width, 4-foot wide. My two neon orange goalposts represent a 4-foot opening for the gate. Here we show a standard wheelbarrow that spans 26 inches wide. A 4 foot wide gate will allow easy access either head on or from an angle from one of these wheelbarrows. Here's a smaller push mower with a 21 inch deck in the 4 foot gate opening. Again, you can easily access the gate head on or from an angle. A 4 foot wide gate is typically about 1 foot wider than the front door on your house. That's wide enough to easily access with small yard equipment or passing through with kids, pets, or two armfuls of grocery bags. For that reason, it's our most popular width since it's good for both small yard equipment along with people and pets. 
While just about any residential push mower will fit through a four foot wide gate, be careful with tractors or commercial grade units. Don't go off just the stated mower deck size of the unit. For instance, my 42 inch wide deck lawn tractor is actually 53 inches wide with a side chute installed for the rear bagger. Had I gone off the stated mower deck size and bought a four foot wide gate thinking the 42 inch deck would pass through, I would have ended up with a gate my tractor wouldn't fit through. If you use landscaping services for grass cutting, I would recommend asking them or measuring the actual width of the units they use when they come out. A lot of zero turn tractors and commercial walk behinds will be wider than a four foot gate. Our next size single gate is five foot wide. Here you can see both the 26 inch wide wheelbarrow and 21 inch push mower would fit through side by side. A five foot wide gate typically comes into play for walkways at or over four foot wide or if tractor access is needed. Here's a shot of my old riding mower with a 42 inch wide deck and actual 53 inch width I mentioned. The tractor will fit through cleanly straight on, but could be a little tighter not fit if you had to pass through at an angle. Our final single leaf gate size is six foot wide. As you can see, our example tractor fits through cleanly head on for a six foot wide gate. It's also gonna pass through at an angle pretty easily. With the tractor being physically 53 inches wide, a five foot wide gate will work head on, but maybe a tight fit or not work at any kind of an angle. In that scenario, I would go with a six foot wide gate for my tractor if I had to access the gate at an angle, so I had room to squeeze through. Next, we are gonna jump into the larger double gates. By double, I mean they are made up of two leaves. So a 10 foot wide double gate would be made up of two five foot wide leaves opening in the middle. Once you get into the wider double gates, this is gonna be where we get into larger items such as bigger mowers, vehicles, or trailers passing through. This may be a gate that you only use once or twice a year. The good thing is that you can also open half the gate at once. So if you have a 10 foot wide gate, you could simply open and go through one five foot half, leaving the other half of the gate stationary rather than adding a smaller gate in the same fence line. One last item before we jump into the double gate pictures is the naming convention on these gates. Although we list them as walk or yard gates, we have plenty of people that will use these as driveway gates, especially if they want matching traditional grade driveway gates or shorter ones than the five foot height the arch driveway gates start at. So now let's take a look at some double gate with examples. Our first double gate size is eight foot wide. To start, here's our trusty lawn tractor again that is 53 inches wide, including the side chute. Just about any piece of yard cutting equipment a homeowner would have will fit through an eight foot wide gate. However, this is also the gate size where you may start wanting vehicles to pass through. So let's take a look at a half ton pickup truck with our eight foot wide gate. Something like a pickup truck is fairly common to access the yard with every so often, especially for gardening, building projects, or duties like offloading firewood. Our example truck in the photos will be a full size GMC 1500 pickup that is 84 inches or seven foot wide at the body and 97 inches or eight foot one inch wide at the edge of the mirrors. So in this case, a full size truck might fit through an eight foot wide gate if you folded the mirrors in, but it's gonna be a really tight fit even if you can pass straight through the gate. Smaller vehicles might pass through an eight foot gate, but I would measure at the widest point of your vehicle to be safe. If you're gonna need vehicles or trailers to pass through the fence line, I'd recommend jumping up to a wider gate than eight foot. The next size up will be a 10 foot double gate with two five foot halves. If you're coming at the gate straight on, you can see that a full size truck will fit through just fine. You could pass through at an angle too, so long as it's clear on both sides of the gate and not too angled. If you're getting into larger vehicles like dually pickup trucks, RVs, or trailers, I would jump up to our final double gate size of 12 foot. Once we get past full size trucks passing through the gates, keep not only the total width of the vehicle in mind, but its length and maneuverability as well. The longer a vehicle gets, the more room you'll want width-wise to fit through. That goes double if you're backing a trailer in through the gate. Make sure you leave yourself some wiggle room. Getting a trailer or a long RV lined up to exactly pass through a small opening can be a real exercise in frustration. Our final size is the 12-foot double gate with two six-foot wide halves. You can see that a full-size truck can pass through this wide of a gate cleanly. At roughly eight foot wide at the mirrors, this truck has two foot of space on each side of the gate if we pass through the center. That kind of space on each side of the truck will allow for you to come through at an angle more easily too. However, if we jump up to a full size RV or have a long trailer to back through, that space can shrink quickly. If larger trucks like tree service or hardscape deliveries will come into play, they're typically gonna want a 12 foot wide gate opening minimum to access your yard. Once you go past 12 foot wide, we jump into what's considered driveway gate territory. So if you have a big RV or longer trailer that will need to fit through at an angle, you may wanna consider jumping from a double walk gate to the wider driveway slash estate gates for your yard access. Hopefully this helps you in choosing the walk gates that will work best for your project. Be sure to check us out here at ironfenshop.com. 
Want to see some real world examples with a larger driveway slash estate gates? Check out this video we did. If you have any other questions, you can shoot us an email at sales at ironfenceshop.com or give us a call at 800-261-2729. We look forward to hearing from you.